Welcome back to the headquarters. It's been a long time that I've owned this piece, but I have not done a proper video review until now. And here you have the one and only, the grail of statue collectors in the comic book world. The one and only Dr. Doom exclusive from Sideshow Collectibles. This is perfection. This is what you call the five star statue. What makes it five stars? Why do people want this piece? That they hunt it down. Until you see it, then you understand. This is exquisite work. First off, let's talk about why is it exclusive. The exclusive version, of course, is the pedestal. There you see the little soul just wrapped around the pedestal itself. And then you have the chalice that has some apple juice in there or whatever it is. But it looks tasty. But it's really cool. It has a magnet in the bottom. It sticks on like that. See that? So like if you lift it, it won't tilt over and nothing like that would happen. Now let's get to the sculpt itself. Okay. Let me explain to you something. This is... This is what made me push myself to become a great collector. It's the fact that these pieces have a lot of work to be done, but this one outdid itself. Phenomenal. We'll start from the front. As you can see, you got this guy right here with his little fucking uh, nose ring on his nose on both sides, which look fantastic. As you see, Doom using the armrest. Love the way his elbow is pushing into the leather. Of course, this is all sculpted down to the buttons. And behind him is another emblem of maybe Latvia. Not too sure, but maybe it is. But as you go around, okay, this is where a lot of people don't understand why this piece is fantastic. Down to the fucking bottom of this piece, you can see head sculpt after head sculpt. So you got this guy here. You got this fucking like wolf looking guy, you know, as you go up, it, it reveals as I go around the statue, look, another head sculpt there. As you go up, you see death itself. So that's like one side of the piece. And you know, you go around here, there's like this marble section of this spirit woman which looks fantastic. You go up here, you have this crazy sun skull. I mean, like, dude, this thing is like beyond comprehension as far as sculpting. Another soul in there, another like wolf looking guy, another fucking crazy looking shit there. And as you go up the piece, ooh, shit, I got my finger in the camera. How fucking stupid was that? As you go up the piece, Check this out. I mean, it's a beautiful sculpt of a woman. Very well done. I mean, like, this is amazing, this piece. Amazing, amazing statue from the back. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've had owned many pieces throughout the years and nothing, I mean, nothing compares to this statue. So, as I go around to the front, we get more to the upper part of the feature. This armor, I like the classic armor look. The fabric, I love the belt in there, looks really good. And you know, you gotta love the face sculpt. And I like the fact that you can move the hoodie. Look at that, yeah. He's like, yeah, I can represent like that. I can roll like that, bitches. Look at this. This is a motherfucker sculpt. That face. Right there, screams, villain. Wow. Dr. Doom, man. I mean, like, come on. This guy is the villain of villains, man. Like, he like he, he took Thanos' spine out of his back. I mean, the guy became the Beyonder at one point. Like, what more can you say? He's everyone's fucking nemesis. Avengers, X-Men, Spider-Man, you fucking name it. Fantastic Four. This is the guy. And until... The MCU brings this guy in. 
Marvel is not Marvel until you have Doctor Doom. And he's coming. Because I I can't wait. So there you have it, man. This is the piece to own. This, this statue is so heavily desired. There are people out there that borrow it from other people just to take pictures of it in their own collection. Just to say they have it. How fucking crazy is that? And that is Doctor Doom, man. He has that aura of wanting to be part of anyone's collection. There you go. Doom be with you.